Now, in a bid to combat the new COVID-19 variant, South Africa has set its sights on mRNA jab. Now, a pilot project seeks to develop a vaccine which is suited for poorer countries. Let's take a look. Behind the screen, a new fight for African independence is at stake. Afrogen, a Cape Town-based biotech consortium, is developing a vaccine against COVID-19 with the support of the World Health Organization. To do this, the scientists use reverse engineering. This means deriving a formula from an existing vaccine. Basically, that is considered um, R&D, so there isn't any infringement of intellectual property. Um, and, and in the process, we learn how you make mRNA, how you scale it to... Um, to be able to produce it at a scale that would be um, useful for clinical trials. The team is basing its research on the drug by US-based Moderna. Negotiations are underway with the pharmaceutical giant to obtain licenses for its use. The South African team hopes to produce a second generation vaccine, better adapted to the continent's climate. The aim is therefore to have a very, very super efficient and safe drug substance, but that the drug product will have a different stability and more suitable to be distributed in a temperatures which is feasible and possible for Africa. Ideally, the new vaccine could be stored in ordinary fridges. Current ones need ultra-cold temperatures. The 22 scientists are determined to meet the challenge. There's a lot that we've learned in the pandemic and, it, and it's highlighted just the inequities that, that exist. Um, but it's also given such a driving force to say, um, for Africa to say, no, we can do it. It's like we, um, there's major emerging economies, it's a growing continent and um, we can do it. If all goes to plan, Prototype shots will be ready for clinical trials within a year and then will be produced locally. Afrogen will train other companies to manufacture the vaccine across the continent. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.